Roosevelt National Park. This park was created to honor President Teddy Roosevelt and his conservation efforts. Roosevelt bought a ranch in North Dakota in 1883. He was enthralled by the vast, wide-open spaces. He once said, There are no words that can tell the hidden spirit of the wilderness, that can reveal its mystery, its melancholy, and its charm. His love for nature carried on into his political life when he returned to New York, and he eventually became the President of the United States. During his administration, he oversaw many conservation acts and services to protect America's natural resources. He even established five national parks. He often reflected back on his life in North Dakota and even attributed his successes to it. He said, I would never have been president if it hadn't been for my experiences in North Dakota. Theodore Roosevelt National Park was given national park status in 1978. This area now protects three areas of rugged terrain. The North Unit, Elkhorn Ranch, and the South Unit. The South Unit is the most visited and offers amazing views of buttes and rock layers. It is also known for its unique wildlife, including prairie dogs, and the most famous, bison. Bison have been roaming the West since well before European settlers arrived. Before the settlers, their population numbers were estimated to be around 60 million. However, railroad construction, international buffalo hide markets, mass hunting, and military orders to kill bison caused the population to go from millions down to several hundred just within a few decades. Through intense conservation efforts, the bison population has grown to over half a million today. Bison are now named the United States National Mammal. These herbivores are the largest mammal in North America and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Now, hundreds of these animals thrive in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. 